So guys, I'm still sitting here um, learning different resources that I can use and incorporate and implement in my class, in my online class this year and next year. So I discovered a pretty cool uh, website called Class Hook. It's really, really awesome. And I love, 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 I love Lucy. So it has little movie clips based on what you're teaching. She reminds me of me. <laughs> At certain, at certain, with certain things, I just love her. So anyway, it's teacher appreciation. Um, since we're not at school, they usually provide lunch or something like that, or a little candy, little thingamajig. So since we're not on site, this is what I got. <laughs> they sent this, this is so sweet. It says, joy, your energy, smile, and spirit have brought so much happiness to AMS. Your dedication is inspiring and such a true example of the love you have for your students. The impact you have made is tremendous and lasting. I look forward to seeing the magic you will continue to make and I am grateful to be a part of your journey. Keep shining your light, my dear. You are a star. And then we have this one. What I am I am most is your not afraid to step outside of the box. You are making an impact and we are lucky to have you in RELA, which is Reading English Language Arts. Thank you for your never ending dedication and your strong commitment. Brooklyn Chicks, the best in the world. <laughs> yes, yes, the Brooklyn Chicks. We bring it, honey, we bring it. <laughs> but the, I thought that was super, super sweet that they took the time to really think about something to write about you know everybody got something written specifically for them and that was nice that you know they took the time to do that and really get down to know the person and write something specific about that person so that that was really great and sometimes when you have things written like that it means more than a little container of candy you know even when I receive a card I'm like did they write something or, you know, so it's like the card and what's written inside the card, to me, is more powerful than a gift itself. Or it can be, you know, because if it's a good gift, honey, you know what I'm saying? It's a good gift, okay? Oh, wait, this one little girl, she did send me an email. She's so sweet. And of course, I'm silly. Y'all know I'm silly. And she says, she says, um, hi, Miss Basil. I just want to say thank you for helping me get better in English and being an amazing teacher. I just want to say that I appreciate you. Now, the teacher in me wants to go in and correct that sentence because there's a, a few things that's wrong. <laughs> a few things that's, there's a few things that's missing. But, you know, I appreciate the thought. <laughs> and look, when you guys put stuff in the comments and stuff, I, I I turn off my teacher at because I slip into the ebonics and the uh, typo city so I don't even correct myself so don't even worry about that but you know when I slip on my teacher hat when I'm looking at student stuff I'm like dude we don't talk about the run-on sentence dude where's your comma where's your period where's your capitalization she did spell my name right though so I'm really happy about that but she is so sweet and what I said to her I said really what you want, girl? I said, her now. I said, what you want? I said, what you, you need a grade change? That's what you want, right? You want your grade change or something, right? I said, you're so sweet. I said, I think the bigger picture is the student wanting to get better and one who doesn't give up, but who keeps trying. Never stop asking questions or for explanations. I appreciate your willingness to participate in class. Well, when we had classes before, Rona ruined everything. Smile. So thank you so much for thinking about me on Teacher Appreciation Week. Love, Miss Basil. Yeah. Always try to write words of encouragement. And we just read a story, The Birthday Box. I'm sorry. You, you know I'll start running my mouth. The Birthday Box. But at the end of the story, the mother who passed away gave the daughter a birthday box. It was the daughter's birthday. So the mother died on the daughter's birthday. But the message, the mother never spoke a word because I think she was, um, she had tubes and stuff running down her throat or she mouthed something. And it was a beautiful, beautifully decorated box that the mother gave the daughter. The only thing the mother said she said, it's you. She didn't say it's for you, it's you. The daughter never understood why would her mother give her an empty box. 
but it was symbolic for a deeper meaning. And the deeper meaning of the empty box, her mother was an English teacher, and in English we try to keep teach the kids to think and to make inferences and to infer, make conclusions, to think on a deeper level, pull back those layers of the meaning of the story and what does she mean by this box, it's you. Pretty on the outside, empty on the inside, why would the mother give her an empty box? The box was symbolic for the daughter. The box was the daughter and it meant and it took a whole year for the daughter to understand and to grasp the meaning of the box but it meant for her you hold the pen you write the story for your life what story will you tell what memories will you leave behind what message will you leave behind for your children your loved ones your friends your family or whoever how do you want to be remembered? So what stories and what type of life will you live um, and how are you gonna fill your box? So the little girl was like, she got it. She, was, she didn't say, it's for me. She said, it is you. So a beautiful box, but only you control your story. Or, you know, certain things happen to you, but how you react to those things that happen to you you can control you may not be able to control everything that happens to you but how you react to it really will make the difference so some kids couldn't get it and i was like what was the purpose of the box what did the mother want the daughter to learn about herself because the daughter's depressed she was depressed for a full year understandably so but life still goes on you still have to live your life you have to create the story for your life are well, you gonna sit around and do nothing you just sit there and cry all day how do you want to be remembered what are, what are people gonna say about you i kind of feel as though my my story's already been told <laughs> you know um then i become a great great success no but I think I left a powerful story of perseverance and never giving up. And I think that's gonna be a very impactful lesson in how I want people to remember me, is that I didn't give up when things get hard. Yeah, things, they got really, really hard. And I made a lot, a lot of mistakes in my life, but I didn't give up. And you never know, you may be a big success, but you can lose it all the blink of an eye. But the whole thing is, don't give up you keep trying okay you have your little crying spell you cry you you got 24 hours okay 24 hours and then you get yourself together and come up with another plan you know my plans don't always work out but i'm not gonna sit there and just not try like i'll give myself that 24 hours but honey i'm like all right i've been knocked back down again so what's next what i'm gonna do i know what the problem is let's find a solution because how are you going to tell your story and how do you want to be remembered? All right, guys, with that said, I know I ran my mouth. I'm sorry, but thank you for those who love to listen to me and don't give up if whatever you're going through because it won't last forever. Hardship won't last. And well, it kind of seems like my hardship does last forever. But you know, I still find those little moments and those breaks of joy in between. And a little break, I get a little, little tiny breaks. But then I know that hardship wait for me around the corner. But I know how to grasp and hold on to a great break as well and appreciate that break. So with that said, hang in there. Don't give up. If you're down, you know, pick yourself up, come up with a new plan and make it do what it do. Give yourself that 24 hours. Give your, yourself permission to feel bad, feel sad, whatever. But you get back up and you keep trying. You know, you don't go through life day by day and you don't try. Nothing beats a failure besides a try. Child, don't get me to start preaching. Don't, don't get, you know that make my nerves bad. All right, y'all, let me get off my little soapbox. <laughs> So I hope this message reaches somebody today because you hold the pen for your life. What story are you going to tell about your life? How do you want to be remembered? What message are you going to leave behind for your loved ones? And I think I left a few messages. I left plenty. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I love you. Until next time, I will see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you are still here, you are the MVP. And you watch me so I'm walking on my talk so I'm talking on the mic just for me and you so don't out of the blue I'm dropping these lines for me and you so stay tuned and don't go away make sure you come back for a better day cuz those better days are gonna bring sunshine and joy and rain pump it up 
sunshine and rain. Oh, okay. All right. You know, I don't know the words to any song. I may know one or two words, but then I'm done. <laughs> They brought us lunch, put something in a little baggie for us, and um, you had to ride with your mask. I didn't have my gloves on, and that was so sweet. They just wanted to do, they wanted to do something for the teachers, and so this is how they recognized the teachers. So they just had us come up to the school and pick up our little goodies. It was a long drive for me, but I'm like, look, I haven't been up to the school in months, so. I might as well just get out of the house and it's during the day. So I thought that was super, super, super sweet. So I can't wait to get home to see what they put in the bag. That was really nice. That was nice, still thoughtful. So thoughtful thinking about, you know, thinking about all the teachers, um, even when we're away. So that was sweet. They were jamming, they had their little music and stuff. They were jamming out there. Okay, okay. So I'm going to head home. I gotta go to the bathroom. That's why I'm saying one thing about this school, it's enough time for me to get here. And I tried not to drink. <laughs> so I just had a few sips of my tea, but I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna try to make it back home, but this, ooh, I may have to pull over, child. Mm -mm. All right, guys, I will check in with you later. Mm -hmm.